Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B, and today it's Tuesday, so it's time for Tops Tuesday, sort of. Well, it's Baseball Tuesday. Uh, it's, we're continuing the journey through the years. Uh, now we're at 2002 Series 2 Tops. Uh, if you missed any of the previous years, or, or Series 1 of 2002, go check it out up there. While you're at it, head on down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifi notification bell thumbs up like the video the share button share this with everyone you know head over to the comments and say hi uh tell me who your favorite player is of this era um from this time period or that i pull out of the box or whatever favorite card or whatever you want to talk about just say hi that's fine too check out the links in the description for my blog podcast other social media and other stuff as well all right so here we got 2002 series two um like i said we already just finished series one uh, we got Clemens, A-Rod, and Pujols um, on the cover here. Two guys that theoretically should be Hall of Famers, but aren't. Well, actually, A-Rod's not technically A-Rod's. Well, A-Rod's actually going to be in his first year of eligibility coming up this year, and Roger Clemens actually going to be his last year of eligibility. Um, whether or not he'll get in or not, probably, probably not, but possibly. I don't know. A-Rod, no way he's getting in first ballot. Pujols still technically playing as I'm recording this he's playing he was in the NLCS for the Dodgers when this actually goes up they may or may not still be playing it depends on what happens uh game game seven no game sorry game six is Saturday well I'm, I'm recording this on Friday game six Saturday possible game seven Sunday this will go up on Tuesday so I don't know but um He'll be in the Hall of Fame for sure. All right, so what else? What are we looking for in here? We got uh, featuring the 1952 World Series tribute. I think that's continuation of the Series 1 as well. Uh, we'll look for um, randomly inserted prime cut autographed relic cards. That'd be amazing. Uh, tops autograph cards and other exciting insert cards. Find randomly inserted original top cards and auto proof of Hall of Famers. The odds of that probably aren't very good, but we'll find out when we open up the packs uh, what the odds actually are. Uh, I believe in Series 1 there were 1 out of 187 for a relic or autograph, so hopefully that's maybe that's the same. We go 187 on this box. Uh, 36 packs, 10 cards per pack. A prime Packs with a prime cut relic contain 9 cards. Um, no more real information on there. Uh, nothing really on the back. Oh, we got some uh, who we can pop possibly get. Uh, Group A, Troy Glass, Rafael Palmero, and A-Rod. Okay, Group B, Beltre, Fercal, Giles, Grieve, Guzman, Klesko, Sexton, and Sweeney. Meh. Group C is just Cliff Floyd. That's weird. Uh, Group D, Jermaine Dye, Jose Ortiz, Jimmy Rollins, and Justin Wayne. All right. Group E, Josh Hamilton. Meh. Group F, Alex Escobar, Keith Ginter, Nick Johnson, Roy Oswald. Group G, Brad Wilkerson. So not a ton of big names there. Some eh names. I mean, A-Rod, Palmero would be bigger names if they, you know, hadn't and done all those steroids or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Series 1 had a lot better names than, as far as the autograph left was concerned. But maybe we'll find one. Maybe we won't. Um, let's just get into this. I've been talking way too much. The big cards, rookie cards we're looking for in this series are Joe Maurer. That's the big one. Uh, also... Uh, Rich Harden, I believe, has a rookie card in this. Josh Barfield, those are like the only kind of names I recognized for the rookies, or notable rookies, I guess. There was a few other guys in there that I think probably recognized, but um, nothing crazy. All right, so as per usual, we're going to do one stack today. We'll do another stack next week and so on until they're all gone. So let's uh, rip these open. Uh, let's see what the odds say. Um, there are all the odds and stuff. Um, overall autograph, 1 and 283. It doesn't say relic and autograph like the other pack, the Series 1 did, but, um, so does it say overall, overall relics are 1 and 198, overall autographs 1 and 283, so odds are even worse in Series 2 than they were in Series 1, but, uh, let's see, maybe we'll get lucky, who knows. All right, I've, I've always got to worry about stuff sticking together from this era. Uh, we got lucky with Series 1 box, but Series 2, eh, not so much. <laughs> These are sticking together. 
Oh, darn. All right. Well, that seems to be always the way. I feel like that happened with Series 1, uh, 2001 as well. Series 1 was fine. Series 2 was sticking together. We got Nate Korn Kornijo, Sh Kazuchiro Sasaki, Mike Matthews, Rick White. Uh, we got Hideki Arabu, who I believe is no longer with us. I think, right? I think he passed away not too long ago, or maybe a while ago. I don't remember this point. I just got Andrew Jones. Uh, we're also looking for, obviously, stars and Hall of Famers and stuff like that as well. Royce Huffman, Mark Johnson. Oh, man, these are really not very good. <laughs> these are sticking together pretty badly. Oh, well. Uh, Cleveland Indians and, or, yeah, Cleveland Indians and Troy Tigers and then a checklist card. All right. And they're not even, like, cracking that off. It's, yeah. Like, sometimes when you bend them back and forth, you can kind of hear them kind of separating a little bit. These aren't even... Although this pack seems to be better shape. Brian Giles, Corey Lytle. It's unfortunately not one of those either. Bruce Chen, Roberto Hernandez, Tyler Houston, Randy Johnson, Cy Young card. Um, so maybe that first pack was just... Uh, I don't know. It was a bad example of packs i don't know Seth etherton uh we got rick thompson tampa bay devil rays back when they were still the devil rays and kyle farnsworth and then one of these bleacher ticket contest sweepstakes things whatever that is all right so maybe that yeah hopefully that first pack was just a uh, one-off and everything else will be fine got scott Rowland. um you know B borderline Hall of Fame. We'll see if he can get in. Uh, there's Sasaki again. Um, okay. Albi Lopez, Scott Spezio. We got Carlos Lee, Timo Perez, Rod Beck, uh, Arthur Rhodes. Is Rod Beck, is he, is he still with us? I feel like, did he pass away or am I com confusing him with someone else? Hmm. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Arthur Rhodes, Tony Armas Jr. And um, Tony Armas Jr. Um, interesting. Well, no, it's Tony Armas. No, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say interesting story about Tony Armas Jr. No, it was Tony Armas. Uh, Josh Beckett. Uh, finishing th those out, I think. All right. I don't know. I don't remember now. Tony Armas Jr., obviously son of Tony Armas. But now I think I'm confusing. Never mind. Whatever. Keep going. <laughs> Ruben Mateo. Uh, Preston Wilson. Kevin Brown. We got Ricky Lede. Edgar Martinez is a Hall of Famer. We got Larry Walker, who is now officially in the Hall of Fame. John Rodriguez. Corey Patterson. Jack Wilson. And Minnesota Twins. All right. Next pack. So, all right. The, you know, we got, I mean... That first pack was badly stuck together, but uh, everything else seems to be okay so far. John Rocker. Uh, some stories about that guy. Uh, Mike Sorotka. Jose Mercedes. Pat Rapp. We got uh, Shane Halter. Gold card. Sticking a little bit to Yvonne Rodriguez. Of course, it's Hall of Famer. And of course, gold card out of two, 2002. Yvonne Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. Uh, we got Terry Mulholland, uh, Taylor Buckholtz, uh, Kansas City Royals card, and a Houston Astros card. All right. Next pack. Kyle Loesch, Jose Vidro, Chuck Finley, Chad Kruder, Kerry Robinson, Omar Vizquel, you know, another borderline Hall of Famer, but then he had some issues, so probably not going to get in. Kirk Bruder, um, some personal stuff ha happened. Jose Lima with Omar Vizquel. Brandon Lyon, uh, Orlando Palmero, and then a E-Tops um, advertisement card. All right, we got a few more packs to go, and then we, we're done with this video. Come back next week for the next stack. There's some weird noise going on outside. I don't know what is happening. 
don't know if you can hear that. There's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. That's a good one. Uh, Pat Mears. Uh, Dan Johnson draft pick card. We got Jeff Conine. Uh, Julio Franco. Roger Clemens, who we talked about earlier. Uh, Neil Friendling. Joe Creedy. Charles Nagy. And Eric Karros rounding things out there. Eric Karros, who had a decent career. All right, next up. I believe he was Rookie of the Year, maybe. Am I am I making that up? Miguel Tejada. Barry Bonds. Uh, Tejada is sticking to somebody. Mike Darr. Barry Bonds next to Roger Clemens. Those guys are both in the last year of eligibility for the Hall of Fame. I don't know if they'll get in or not. Chris Singleton, along with uh, Kurt Schilling as well. Uh, Armando Rios, Eric Chavez. We got Greg Montabano. Uh, Oakland A's, Raphael Furcal, and the Baltimore Orioles. Rounding things out in that pack. All right, final pack. For today, again, come back next week. We'll do another stack of packs. Still looking for that Joe Mauer. Hopefully, maybe he might be in this pack. Last pack magic for the video. Um, yeah, and come back every week for the next few weeks until we finish all these up. And just keep on coming back. Keep on coming back every day. Every day, every week, every... every Sometimes twice a day. We have Miguel Cairo, John Vanderwall, D. Brown... Milton Bradley, Orlando Merced, Adam Payat, uh, Brent Main, Osvaldo Fernandez, the Chicago White Sox, and Darian Fletcher, and a checklist card. So, interestingly, no inserts at all in any of those packs. That was weird. That first pack was a little, well, I guess a gold parallel, not an insert, though. Um... Yeah, I guess that first pack that was sticking together was just a uh, one-off, so that that's good. The rest of those cards were pretty, you know, it's a little bit of stickiness, but not terrible like that first pack. So that's good. Um, I mean, we got some Hall of Famers and some borderline Hall of Famers and guys that probably would be in the Hall of Fame if not for steroids and whatnot. So, meh, kind of meh. Uh, hopefully we'll do better the next uh, couple rounds. We'll still look at that for Joe Maurer and some inserts, maybe, maybe an autograph or something cool. So uh, thank you everyone for watching. Again, subscribe, like, and share. Come back next week for more of this. Come back every day for more of everything. Uh, it's good times here. Uh, we're just having fun here on the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. It's our about having fun. So um, thank you for watching. Stay safe, ha have fun, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.